I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Wednesday morning, the 15th of March, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in Psalm 116 and verse 10. I believed, therefore I spoke. And then we go straight to the second book of Corinthians, chapter 4 and verse 13. I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. And then the last one is Romans chapter 8 and verse 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Oh, my dear friend, do you have a testimony this morning? Can you tell people that you believe because you know, because he lives inside you? Jesus Christ is so much alive today. He is soon coming back. He's going to take you and me to heaven with him. And we are going to live there in peace and in harmony with our Heavenly Father and with the Holy Spirit. You know, people will only believe you when you tell them about the Lord, if you yourself believe it. There are some people that the way they preach, it looks to me like they don't even believe what they preach it. You see, you have to live the life. There needs to be such a change in your spirit man, in your life, your personality, your character, that people will say, what has happened to you? <laughs> You're not the same person that we knew yesterday. You know, when Jill and I first gave our lives to the Lord, we were invited by the minister to come to his manse, to the house, and to have a midweek Bible study. And after about three or four weeks, I was so hungry for the Lord. I had a complete transformation in my life. I had joy and peace and purpose. But the minister was always rather abrupt. And he was, he was actually a bit ugly towards me, to be honest with you. And after about four weeks, being a, a man that wears my heart on my sleeve, I said, can I speak to you for a minute? He said, yes. I said, why are you so harsh on me? Why are you so short with me? What is wrong? What have I done wrong? And then he looked at me, and I think there was a few tears in his eyes. He said, Angus, I must confess, when I saw you coming to my Bible study, I wasn't too sure if you were the real deal, because I know your track record. I know where you came from. I know how you used to be, and I wasn't sure if it was just a, a facade, but I know now that Jesus Christ lives in your heart. That is the testimony that you and I need. There must be a change. And when you preach, you tell them, I believe because I know my Redeemer lives. Have a wonderful day. Jesus bless you and goodbye.